Welcome to the BPPV Viewer, a downloadable tool for study of otolith disease. In this video, we will guide you through the viewer's features and help you make the most of it. Let's begin with navigation. You can operate the tool using either a mouse or a trackpad. To rotate the model, simply click and drag. For zooming in or out, hold down the Option or Alt key and use the mouse scroll wheel. To pan, hold the Option or Alt key and move the mouse. You can select your preferred view, either orthographic or perspective. On the top right side, you'll find the navigation tool which allows you to rotate the head at specific angular increments around the X, Y, or Z axis, as well as around the RALP and LARP planes. To use this tool, hover your mouse over the plane of interest and scroll. This tool is particularly useful for locating head positions commonly used in diagnosing and treating BPPV. The deviations along the X, Y, and Z axis are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Clicking the head in the tool will reset it to the starting position. You have the option to choose from five different background colors. The render mode lets you select an outline effect, grayscale, or return to the normal colorized version. If you prefer, you can hide the navigation tool. Click anywhere along a semicircular canal to add a spherical autolith marker. Click again to remove the marker. Feel free to add as many markers as you wish. To simulate gravity, click the Activate checkbox in the lower left corner. Click Pause to temporarily halt the gravity simulation. To remove all autolith markers, uncheck the Activate checkbox. Switch to the List view to display or hide various components of the model. Use the drop-down menus to access additional features, such as viewing the different Cristae planes for each canal. For a simpler view of the models, click the X button in the menu options to hide all menus. This concludes the BPPV Viewer walkthrough. You can download it for both PC and Mac at bppvviewer.com. Thank you for watching.